enough. We live in a crazy, crazy time where we are just in the pursuit of stuff and we hoard this away. The self-storage market is now worth over $90 billion and increasing fast. We don't have houses with enough room for the stuff that we are buying and yet we still continue to pursue all of this stuff. This malaise is seeping through all of us because we are now judging our own worth and the worth of others by our salary size, the size of our house, what car we drive, the place we came on the Times rich list, our net worth, our business turnover, etc, etc, etc. But all of this change is exhausting. It's not what human beings were designed for. It's having an impact. That's why we now have hit shows where people declutter households and show people how to do that. And you've got YouTubers who are preaching minimalism and they become huge. People are yearning for this stuff. Something is clearly broken and it needs to be fixed. So in this video, I want to analyze a revolutionary concept that can unlock us from these chains. This concept will allow us to retire early, get back that headspace that we've lost, and perhaps while we're at it, even save this darn planet. What is this concept? The goal of this video is simple. I want to get you to enough. And I will explore this concept from two perspectives. The first is the cold hard mathematical angle, which is how much money is actually enough. The second is the philosophical and spiritual angle. Where does our head need to be at in order for us to ever hit enough? This is going to be a good one, folks. So make sure that you're strapped in, you've liked, you've subscribed, you've shared this with a friend or a foe, and let's dive in. Actually, I tell a lie, before we dive in, you guys may have noticed that we've got a new logo and a new look on this video as well. That is because we've rebranded, we've got a new website. Check it out and let us know what you think in the comments below. For those of you who are new to this channel, IFG makes money, wealth, personal finances accessible to Muslims. We have IFG Wealth, which is a platform that allows you to track your net worth and your portfolio and get actionable, personalized insights every week to keep you in the right direction. You can compare over 80 plus investments that are pre-vetted and Sharia compliant from across the world. And we have our own funds platform called Curate Capital, where you can invest in institutional grade startup and real estate funds and deals. When you think about what is enough financially, most people would think about the number that they need to be able to retire on. Now I'll get to that in just a second, but first let's interrogate the statement. Why do you want the money to be able to retire in the first place? Well, Ibrahim, because I want to be able to work less or not at all and to spend my time doing things that are worthwhile, enjoyable to me and perhaps useful to the world as well. Okay, and you can't do that right now because? Well, because I'm working. And you're working at a place that is neither worthwhile to the world nor is it enjoyable to you? The point is that life is too short, folks, to say one day I'm going to get to my destiny or that I'm going to start living the life that I truly enjoy or think is worthwhile. There are things that you can do right now to change that. The first thing that you can do is make sure that you are doing a job that you really enjoy and that is adding value to the world more than just money. The second thing that you can do is in your extracurricular time, rather than looking like this, you are spending time really pursuing all of those extracurricular activities that you think you would do in your retirement. But Ibrahim, look, I would love to do what you're saying, but you're saying things that are impractical. I have a wife and kids and I have responsibilities. I can't now just quit and become an actor or a dancer or whatever. I need to have a stable job that pays the bills. That's my responsibility. That's right. That is your responsibility. But I guarantee you that if you really put your mind to it, doing something that you love and that you're good at, there will be a way to make ends meet and make an income there. Perhaps you may not be earning that 150, 200,000 pounds or that 50,000 pounds and you might have to take a pay cut and you go down a little bit to 40, 30, whatever it might be. But the point is that if you're doing something that you love and that's the point of you making all of that income in the first place, then why would you wait 20, 30, 40 years to get to the point where you can start doing the thing that you love? 
Okay, enough of the lecture. What do you need to retire on? And now for a quick word from our sponsor, StrideUp. They're an FCA regulated finance provider that gets you onto the housing ladder faster with lower deposits and higher finance amounts. They're also certified as Sharia compliant as well. As someone who's long been keen to see more competition enter the Islamic finance space, I'm really excited to see StrideUp come into the market. They're available throughout the country. To find out more, head over to the website strideup.co to book a free consultation and apply today. Well, apparently the average household needs about £2,600 or $3,200. Let's add that up annually. That means you're looking at roughly around £30,000-£35,000. Let's round that up and make it a cushy retirement and it's £50,000. Now let's assume that you park that money into something safe, nicely yielding like commercial real estate. Shameless plug, Curate Capital allows you to do that. And that is going to need £720,000 or $900,000 of investment in something like that to make you around £50,000 annually that you can live off in perpetuity. Now, in order for you to make the kind of savings that are needed that get you to this point, you really have two options. The first is that you need to be in a job that is high paying north of £100,000 where you can ideally save up somewhere between twenty and £100,000 every single year. The second is you need to get lucky with some of your investments. If you work in corporate law, for example, like I used to, it's very easy for you at some of the top firms to earn up to £200,000, £300,000 annually. And if that becomes tax-free in the Middle East, you could literally retire with more than that money within about five years. If, however, like my wife, you work as a junior doctor, then you're not going to be earning that much. And you'd be lucky to save away perhaps five, ten thousand pounds every single year, which means that you're never really going to get to that 750,000 mark until you're close to retirement anyway. Unless, that is, that you put a small but decent chunk of your investment into something that is high risk, high reward, and it goes spectacularly well. Like for example, someone that invested in Bitcoin, let's say seven, eight years ago, or someone that has invested in a startup that has become 100x or 1000x and has created life-changing wealth for them. This stuff is high risk though and high reward. And if you over-index your portfolio for something like this, you could really damage your overall portfolio as well. So now you know what enough is, about 700, 750,000 pounds, and you know how to get there. There really are two main routes if you stay in employment, or you could go really high risk and become an entrepreneur, and then you, know, you have everything to play for. One thing that may have popped into your mind when I said, you know, 50,000 a year is enough to live on, is hang on a minute, Ibrahim, that's not the number that I had in mind. Why did you think that? Well, because all of our concepts of enough, the spiritual or philosophical or mental concept of enough is different from person to person. In Islam, we have this concept of qana'ah or contentment with what one has. Even the word wealth is ghina. And ghina, if you look at the real meaning of it, is to be free from need or independent, i.e. that you do not need things and that is why you have become wealthy or independent. So this means that being rich is actually a state of mind. As Imam Shafi'i really eloquently puts, وَكَذَا الْغَنِيُّ هُوَ الْغَنِيُّ بِحَالِهِ لَيْسَ الْغَنِيُّ بِمُلْكِهِ وَبِمَالِهِ The rich man or the independent man is independent or rich because of his state because of his mindset. He's not independent or rich because of the money and the wealth and the houses that he has. Isn't that quite a liberating thought? That if you can mentally get yourself to contentment, if you can mentally get yourself to enough, then congratulations, my friend. You have just become wealthy. You have just hit enough. And look, this is not a crackpot philosophy where I'm saying, look, just put up with the dregs and the scraps and just become stoic and you'll be happy to live in a cave and that is enough. That is not what I'm saying. No, because what I'm saying is that even the wealthiest person in the world, in order for them to hit enough, they need to cross this mental barrier. They need to mentally think that they have enough because human beings are insatiable. 
Human beings don't stop at 1 million or 10 million or 100 billion or even 100 billion. Human beings keep on going until mentally we get to the point where we say enough. So what I'm saying is we all have to engage with this activity. We all have to work out what is our enough and then strive to get there. Because only then do we truly unlock ourselves. Money is just one small part of getting to enough. The mind is far more important than that. And that is a liberating thought as well because it means that we are in charge. It doesn't matter how lucky we are or what fortune favors us with. We are in charge of how wealthy and free from things we actually are. Let me leave you with another powerful and liberating thought from the great man himself, Imam Shafi'i. توكلت في رزقي على الله خالقي وأيقنت أن الله لا شك رازكي وما يكون من رزق فليس يفوتني ولو كان في قاع البحار العوامق سيأتي به الله العظيم بفضه ولو لم يكن من لسان بناطقي ففي أي شيء تذهب النفس حسرة وقد قسم الرحمن رزق الخلائق that's enough, I think, for today, folks. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas in the comments below about what was discussed today. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.